There's a fascinating medrash that relates that HaKadosh Baruch Hu created a thousand worlds. And he destroyed each one until he got the final product, until he, he got it right. Which is which one? The world that we know in today. And the question that I have is a very simple question. How do we understand this medrash? When I grew up, when I was taught in elementary school and high school, HaKadosh Baruch Hu was perfect. He doesn't make mistakes. So what does it mean he created a thousand worlds and destroyed them? Until he got to our world. And what makes the question even stronger is that even our world, it seems like he didn't really make it right. Because what happens at the end of Parshish Barashas? Hagaz Baruch says, I regret creating the world. And he destroys it again. Not completely, but he brings the Mabel. He saves a few Noah and his kids. And then he creates it again. How do we understand this Medrash? Like Hagaz Baruch created a thousand worlds. Hagaz Baruch was perfect. He doesn't make mistakes. Why is, he, why is he creating worlds and destroying them? And then why did he create our world and then destroy it again with Noah? I think the answer is very simple. And the answer should resonate with every single one of us. What HaKadosh Baruch Hu is teaching us is that after your world is destroyed, you're able to build a new one. The reason why HaKadosh Baruch Hu created a thousand worlds and destroyed it is to teach you that when your world is destroyed, what you know as your world, you're still able to continue and build a new one.